I'm leaving Paris in two days and I'm testing how to pack all of my stuff in my suitcase because I do not think I have enough room. You know why? Because I came here with literally no room and what did I do in France? All of Europe actually, I bought a bunch of stuff. So I don't know how I'm gonna get it back home nor Japan. I might have to like ship a box from France to Japan and I'm nervous because last time when I came from LA to Paris, both of my bags were at exactly the weight limit. So I definitely can't add anything, but we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna try the rolling method. This is gonna tell me. I think it's gonna be way too heavy. Okay, wait. Oh my god, 22.9 kilograms. 22.9 kilograms, literally like the exact weight that it needs to be. I'm flying JetBlue, which I've never flown internationally, so I think that's right. <laughs> but the problem is, I still have three jackets in the closet, like big jackets, and I only have my carry-on left, and I don't know if all of this is gonna fit. I don't think it is. Like, I have all these jackets and, like, just a bunch of other stuff laying around that I still have to pack, and I only have one carry-on left, and then my backpack. Let's see what we can do. You guys, I think that this might be a success. Ugh. Like, I think I can make that work, I think. Look how pretty it is outside. Like, it's so nice today. Wow, oh my God, look at the Apple Tower. One thing about me is it can be so nice outside. I don't care if I'm too depressed to like leave and go out. That's it. <laughs> So the other day I bought this puffer jacket and I posted about it on TikTok. Like I went to the store and I bought it and I was so excited about it because it's from Acme Studios, which is like one of my favorite brands that I've never purchased from before because I've always been too broke. But I posted about it on TikTok and so many people <laughs> thought that it was like ugly and a lot of people said it was like too small and made me feel like so bad about it because it was expensive. But I genuinely like really fucking love this coat. So it doesn't faze me that much, but I was like upset because I was like, damn, like, is it really like too small or does it look too small on me? But then I looked in the mirror and I was like, no, like you're still really fucking cute. But it's the cutest jacket ever. It's like this softest material. I will say it's very, very, very expensive. And I've never bought a piece of clothing that expensive before. And of course it's another jacket. Like why did I buy two designer jackets while I was in Paris? I bought the Ghani jacket and the Acne jacket. This one seems like more of like an investment because it's like a puffer jacket and will actually keep me warm. But I am genuinely in love with it. It makes me feel really confident. And when it's zipped up, my neck is like covered. And I love a jacket with like a turtleneck or one that like kind of covers my face right here. I think it's just really cute. I feel like I have a lot of shit to do before I leave Paris. Y'all, I know I have a million tabs open. Don't look. I found these shoes on TikTok that are so cute to me. I feel like a lot of people will say otherwise, but I think they're so cute. And I want something that's similar to like Uggs for winter time and something that I can just like easily throw on. And I'm feeling these boots really bad. I like really want them, but I'm like, is this too much? Like, are they like a little too like chuggy? <laughs> but I'm deciding between a few of them and I really like all of them. It is now like 11 p.m. and my flight is is in five hours. <laughs> Oh God. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep, honestly. I'll check back with you very early in the morning. Yo. It's finally that time. Um, it's like 5.30 a.m. I'm so tired and I'm actually pretty much in a rush. I think I'm really rushing because I think I might actually have miscalculated. It might be late to the airport because my flight boards in like two hours and it's like an hour away. So I'm getting really nervous, but we need to go now. <laughs> He is here. Goodbye, Airbnb. Getting those suitcases down all those stairs is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but it's done and we're out. My Uber's coming. I made it. It's time to check in this big ass bag that I'm probably gonna get overcharged for. I'm really struggling right now to keep it together. I'm gonna make it work. It's currently at 6 a.m. It's rolling. Okay. Y'all, I'm literally gonna start screaming and crying in 
throwing up in excitement. My bag was two kilograms over the weight limit and he didn't charge me. I don't know what to say. I think he just liked me, let it go for free. And he saw that I was struggling with like all of my overweight stuff. Oh my God, I'm so happy I didn't have to pay for that. to New York. I've had so many troubles at this airport. I've been here for like three hours, but I got a bacon, egg, and cheese, which solves everything. I used to get one of these like literally every single day when I lived here. So in honor of that, I got another one. My flight still isn't for like another two or three hours and I got nothing to do. So I'm just chilling in the airport, but damn, that was stressful. I just got global entry and I had to do like my interview and it was such a mess. I had to like go to multiple different terminals and then come back to this one. And then getting back through security again took like an hour. My feet hurt, my whole body hurts actually, but I have a bacon, egg and cheese, so. And I also got a pumpkin spice latte from Dunkin'. Y'all know what I miss really bad about home? Not these fucking candy prices because I just paid $6 for this tiny bag of candy. Japan would never. But what I do really miss about home is driving. So I'm like really, really excited to drive and just like wake up and like get coffee in the morning. Oh, there's like a few. Oh, these smell really good. They're not $6 good though. There's a few coffee shops that I miss going to back home. I'm so excited to go there and just like hang out with my friend from high school. I never get to see her. So I'm really, really excited. It's weird because I'm normally not excited to go home. Like at all. Like I'm just like, bye. Like I just want to like stay in Japan. But this time like, I want to go home like really bad. I'm really fucking bored in this airport though. Like there's absolutely nothing to do here. So I've just been like walking TikTok, looking at the planes. 822. I feel so nasty though. I've been traveling for so long at this point and I want to take a shower really bad. I need to shave and I know my armpits stink. So I'm like really scared to see anyone. It's been rough y'all. I cannot wait to be done traveling. If you're standing the bus, if you're unable to avoid the work doing Y'all, I made it to Raleigh, North Carolina, but we have a little bit of a problem. My friend picking me up, Lauren, her car broke down on the way coming here as I was like taking off from New York. It's a huge mess. She's like stranded. Oh my God. And now I'm trying to get like a rental car to like go and pick her up. And then we have to drive like two and a half hours to Roanoke. But the problem with that is my license is in Japan. I only have my passport, a picture of my license and my international driving license. So I don't know if they're gonna like actually let me get the car but we're gonna try and see how it goes right now. I'm waiting for my bag to come out. It would just make things a hundred times worse if they lost my bag too. I've never had lost baggage, which is so crazy because I fly so much, but I guess we're gonna find out. I'm really nervous. He's pretty for me. Update, this is insane. I dragged my bags across the parking lot of the airport like so far. Now I'm at Hertz, the rental car place, because Enterprise wouldn't let me rent the car without my physical license. So I'm getting my friend Lauren to Uber here so she can have her physical license be here to get the rental car. It's actually ridiculous. I'm gonna lose my mind. This is so much. I just wanna go home. Hi guys, I am filming this in a random parking lot a day later, cause that night got so hectic. Everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong and it was a nightmare. But as you can tell, I'm in my car now and you guys have never seen me in my car by the way, but I'm in my car and I'm finally home. But it was not easy to get here. I met up with my friend. She came to the car rental place. Long story short, they would not let her rent the car either. So we had to go to a different car rental place. They wouldn't let us rent the car either. So we were downloading these like random apps like Turo and like just other car rental apps to see if they would let us. And after hours, we finally found one car that was available in all of Raleigh, North Carolina on this random app that we've never heard of. And it was a red minivan. So what did we do? We rented the red minivan and that's all we could do. Her car had to be left in Raleigh and get towed. So as you can imagine, it was horrible, but eventually we got the car, we rented the car. That was amazing that we were able to do that because we had really no other option. And then we drove two and a half hours back to Virginia. We made it and we're here now. I'm finally back in my hometown and it's so surreal to be here, but it's also very peaceful and calming. I'm like, wow, life is not like so hectic when I'm in the sticks of Virginia. 
Pennsylvania. I'm starting to understand why people like it here. I'm only here for like a week and then I'm off back to Japan, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to see my cat again and go back to Japan. You guys know I'm just excited to be able to like film YouTube videos again in Japan because that's what I do best, I feel like. But thank you for watching. This video is a little bit shorter than my normal videos, but travel vlogs are not easy, okay? That's all. Love you. Mwah. Bye.